The 17 News at Noon podcast is brought to you by Clinica Sierra Vista. Welcome back to the 17 News at Noon podcast, where we share your news on your schedule. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for the News at Noon. I'm Alex Fisher. New this hour and just coming into our newsroom, workers sick with coronavirus and isolating at home will have additional sick pay during this Omicron surge. Governor Newsom and other state leaders agreed on a legislation to extend the sick pay for workers. A similar law that gave workers an additional 80 hours of COVID pay and that expired in September. The new agreement will give 80 hours of additional sick pay to workers through September 30th. If workers take additional time off uh, past, the 80 hour, uh, past the 80 hours, individual companies would absorb the costs. For part-time workers, the state would give them additional hours that equal the number of hours they typically work in a week. If trends continue, more than 2,000 people in Kern County will be infected with coronavirus today, and the spread is at its highest level since the beginning of this pandemic. Another 1,600 people have tested positive for COVID-19. We also learned of another three people who died, although their deaths were back in the fall. 318 people are in a local hospital and receiving treatment. 51 are in the ICU. State models show the virus peaking sometime this week, meaning fewer people could be getting infected in the following weeks. As the pandemic rolls on here in Kern, health officials worry we are not doing enough to protect our most vulnerable. Hospitalizations are spiking among infants and toddlers. More children ages 0 to 4 are becoming seriously ill with COVID. Nationally, hospitalizations among this age group are spiking. Here in Kern County, public health data shows nearly 8,500 children ages 0 to 17 have tested positive since the beginning of the year. Because under five is the last age group that remains unvaccinated, local pediatrician Dr. Namisha Amin says the best thing families can do is surround young kids with protection. I would say still in this age group, the great majority of children are getting infected from parents as opposed to play dates or other types of outings. Amin says it is up to those parents to stay protected, masking and keeping up to date on vaccinations. Omicron has not been raising the rate of hospitalization for children infected with the virus, but the variant has spread like wildfire, especially among kids, causing numbers of hospitalizations for this last vulnerable age group to surge. Federal data also shows that hospitalization for non-COVID maladies is up to in kids too. Many of these kids end up testing positive once in the hospital. Hello, this is Tim Callahan with Clinica Sierra Vista, and we're excited to unveil the Community Health Center of the Future, our comprehensive care center. It's located right across the street from Memorial Hospital. We have every service under one roof, from family medicine, OBGYN care, dental services for adults and children, behavioral health, and much more. So find your way to better care at Clinica Sierra Vista this year at our comprehensive care center. Visit our website, clinicasierravista.org, for the latest on this project. We'll see you soon. Kern County is no stranger to fentanyl and the tragedies that it brings. The latest victim, a nine-month-old baby who reportedly stopped breathing before being rushed to the hospital. Police say they arrested the baby's mother, Gabriella Cruz, on Friday in East Bakersfield. The baby is now stable but was found unresponsive in need of urgent medical attention. Last year, more than 200 people died from a fentanyl overdose in Kern County. It can take as little as two milligrams of that drug that's equal to the size of five to seven grains of salt. It doesn't take very much to become poisoned by it at all. Two to three milligrams is a lethal dose. So think how lethal it could be for a baby that's 20 pounds. When 17 News questioned Cruz on a phone call about how her nine month old baby ended up overdosing on the drug, she refused to answer any questions. Entertainment news now and Fifth time's a charm, Kevin Hart is returning to Bakersfield again. No joke. Hart will be back at the Fox Theater February 5th at 7 p.m. He already has two other shows scheduled for the night before at 7 and 10 p.m. And he had two other shows earlier this month. If you want to buy tickets for the, any of those shows, the last three that I just mentioned, just head to the Fox Theater box office or go to AXS.com. The 17 News at Noon podcast is a production of KGET and Nexstar Media Group. For more on all of the headlines in today's show, head to KGET.com.